Students at Mena Hall School in Turkey gratefully begin their new school year at the new school building. A grandmother volunteers at a school to thank the school for teaching her a mentally delayed granddaughter. Welcome to Die Headlines, I'm Siri Su, thank you for joining us. We begin our program today with some news from Turkey. City volunteers in Turkey opened a mental health school in Sultan Ghazi city to give Syrian refugee children the chance to return to school. Since September this year, a local businessman rented a new building for volunteers to use as the school campus. As the new semester began, the students headed back to school in the new classrooms. Let's join them there. <laughs> Today is the first day of the new semester in Turkey. Mana House five schools, from elementary to senior high, have relocated to a new building. Students are cheerful to attend class in new classrooms. I feel safe leaving the children in your hands because the class here is held in their native language, Arabic. Tuji's education method respects our culture. I believe I can see great futures for the children. This morning, my child woke up at 6 and is very cheerful to go to school. I'm thankful for you all. It's wonderful that the children can continue their studies. I feel very happy that we can use the new building for school. The classroom is new, but the teacher is our original one. The new school is great. It's very beautiful. I'm very glad to have a chance to study. Many of these children's education was disrupted. Now that they can continue to learn, they cherish this opportunity and they hope to build a great future for themselves. Who studies here will not disappoint the good people who supported us. This school is built because of many great loves from afar. I will study hard and become an engineer in the future. One day I will return to Syria and rebuild my homeland. The Manor House School No. 6 that's funded by Tsuji will continue the partnership with Turkey's Ministry of Education and use the local school campus for classes. Menon Hall No. 6 school that we're funding is split into three, six to eight. We are still assisting these schools. There are 649 students there. Combined with five other schools, we have 3,020 students in total that we are supporting for education. In the second stage of Tsuji's disaster relief work in Mexico, city volunteers have come to Telequantanago to distribute aid supplies, helping more than 1,700 households. The city mayor has also declared that December is Tsuji month. Let's take a look. Okay. Okay. Using lights before dawn, everyone works together to load aid supplies. <laughs> City volunteers have come to Tula Quantinago to distribute aid supplies. Upon seeing the quick victim's smiles, the volunteers feel their hard work has been worthwhile. Now that you've come to accompany us, we no longer feel lonely. We are grateful that you've brought us love. We are very happy. Muchas gracias. <laughs> Thanks to the volunteers singing earlier, the affected residents open up their minds to hug each other and take photos. They are more introverted. They think it is amazing that a group of people have come to help them without asking for anything in return. They are very happy to receive the aid supply cars and the blankets. The local government is also supporting city volunteers. The city mayor gives the volunteer a memorial doll. The local volunteers are performing folk dance on the stage. We volunteered to come help out. We hope to bring some joy here. I'm here to announce that to thank people who have given us help. From now on, every December is Tsuji month. 
Besides holding aid distribution, medical volunteers from various countries have provided a first free clinic in Telequantinago, serving nearly 600 residents. Besides looking after their illnesses, TIMA members were also concerned about their mental welfare. No, I have not been to the doctors until today. Today is the first time I've seen a doctor. I might not have come today. I don't go to the doctors. I don't usually get help for my pains. Si me ayuda? La X. Como usted le pone. La cruz. Así, aquí, mire. Let's not only focus on healing the wounds or providing medication for long-term illnesses or acute headaches. What's more important is for us to comfort them. I do not think that language bear is a big problem because they can feel our friendliness and gentleness. We in turn can read their hardships through their eyes. This trinket represents safety and good fortune. We wish them the best. This will help them in some way. May God bless you and take care of you. May you never get sick. Never get sick because we're brothers and sisters. I feel pain all over my body to which I cannot even lift my arms. Around this area on my head, my vision is also getting blurry. This pimple has been here for years. When it gets itchy, I simply put lemon juice on it, nothing else. I think it is my blessings that I am here. Even though it is far away, I am very happy to have this opportunity to come serve. I will think of ways to overcome the distances. I am very happy. I have been thinking why you would come from afar to help us. Our conditions are getting worse because we live in the countryside and we do not have food. That is why your visit is very meaningful to us. Thank God. May God bless you so you will have a long life. This way you can help more people in need. I do not need it because I'm almost near the end of my life. <laughs> In Taiwan, since 2006, TIMA members in Xinzhou have been providing free clinics twice a year at National Immigration Agency Xinzhou Shelter. Since the office is giving back the land and the building to the local government, December 10th is the last day TIMA held a free clinic here. A family medicine doctor joined TIMA with his wife's encouragement when his clinic was in financial distress. Now he has a different idea of what being a doctor means. Xinju Tima holds free health clinics at the National Immigration Agency's Xinju shelter twice a year. Tima visits the shelter regularly since 2006. Since the local government has a new construction plan for the land, December 2017 will be the last time they give their services here. The detainees are mostly illegal foreign immigrants from Southern East Asia. The pressure of being in a foreign country reflects on their physical conditions. Dr. Zhang Chuanchen can understand personally how the immigrants feel as he himself left his hometown Wuhan and immigrated to Taiwan. After I joined Ziji, I read many books about Buddhism. I realized that being a doctor is more than just treating illness. I asked myself to see my profession as an active way to save people every day. So now when I'm treating patients, I've felt different from the past. Before I treat patients like a task, but now I think about how to help them for a lifetime, help them to solve any problems they have in life.
The special connection between the doctor and patient transcends boundaries. The doctor not only saves the patients from their pain, but they've also give them love and care so that they can feel warmth in this foreign land. In Tainan, Taiwan, a grandmother volunteers at Datong Elementary School cleaning the restrooms for the students. Since her granddaughter suffers from mental retardation, she is grateful to the school for helping her in various ways. Therefore, she thinks serving at a school is the best way for her to express her gratitude. While students are in class, Liu Yuzi walks to the end of the hallway with tools in her hands. Despite being petite, she works agilely. She cleans the restrooms by herself. However, she's not a staff member or sanitary worker. She's here for a special someone. My granddaughter, who attends this school, needs a lot of help from other people. Liu's granddaughter suffers from developmental retardation. After bringing her granddaughter to school every day, she stays to help out around the campus. She is very dedicated and optimistic. She does her best to serve the school and never complains of fatigue. We've told her to take breaks if she does not feel well, but she persevered. Teachers work very hard as they are like the children's second mothers. Liu perseveres in volunteering at the school as a way to express her gratitude. Her wishes for the teachers and students to learn in a clean and comfortable environment. Dedicated to early childhood education for disadvantaged groups for 56 years, 81-year-old Italian citizen Sister Flaviana has affected the lives of some 4,000 people. In 2017, she became the second foreigner to be given ROC citizenship in Xinzhu by the National Immigration Agency. Upon hearing the news, Sister Flaviana says, Taiwan is my home. She will continue to live on this land, serving children and the elderly. Hermosa, sei l'isola bella, il primo sogno agognato. Ho fatto una giornata di trama, lai Taiwan. I took a boat for a month to reach Taiwan, which is the most beautiful island. This was why I wanted to come to Taiwan at the age of 25. The spirit of our mission was to go to remote areas where no one else wanted to go, so we chose Xinzhu's Hengshan and Jianshi Township to help the children. This difficult thing was that I couldn't speak much Chinese, so I just used my hand to convey the message. Working with children in Xinzhu and knowing that a few words such as how are you and a smile was enough. I came here when I was about seven years old, and I saw two foreign nuns here and at the time. I was a bit scared because their facial features made her seem very stern, but later I realized she was very caring and friendly. I think the influence began from my mother, who attended school. Being here is like that of a big happy family, and Sister Flaviana is like my mother-in-law. She is very unselfish in her devotion to children. Sometimes when I'm out on the street and I see my former students or their mothers, they tell me how they're doing, often letting me know they got married or had children. Hearing updated information about my former students is the best reward for me.
你觉得我怎么样啊？迪，哎，太好了，我不怕爱迪啊。<笑>你也可以讲客家话，嗯、你要在这里就忘记了。哈哈哈哈哈！一点点会啊，哎，先先会啊，现在不会。这个是我的家。Taiwan is my home. I've been here for 56 years. I'll go where I'm needed and do as much as I can to help. Taiwan, a Jingzi reading center has been established in the Sanling Junior High School in a remote township of Kaohsiung. In total, 450 books and magazines, as well as 50 sets of audiovisual products have been donated. On the day of the opening ceremony, each student of the school received a book of Jingzi aphorisms. Let's take a look. Opening this book of Jinsi aphorisms, students learn a lot through these short phrases. Doing good deeds is not difficult, but we may find it truly difficult if we don't do it. I should help those who need help. If I don't help them, I will feel regret. If you are resolute, you can reach your goals no matter how difficult it may be. During this short period of time, everyone exchanges experiences with each other through reading. This beautiful moment is the initial aspiration of Tsai Zhongtin, who donated the Jinsi Reading Center. We can obtain a lot of unexpected benefits from books. We can also grow and gain a lot of motivation through reading. This reading center has officially opened, giving children a place to grow mentally and spiritually. Reading can enhance everyone's logical thinking, foster creativity, improve interpersonal relationships, as well as cultivate compassion for others. The books here help calm your mind. Most importantly, they give you a life direction. A good book is like a key which can not only broaden one's horizons and accumulate knowledge, but also develop wisdom as it can also lead people to accomplish goals in life. The fifth principal of Tainan Tsuji Senior High School, Zhang Jingkun, started his educational career at the age of 22. He has helped many students who are having trouble with school get back on track. He has been the principal of junior and senior high schools. During the three years after he retired, he was a full-time Tsuji volunteer. When he accepted a job to be the principal of Tainan Tsuji Senior High School a year ago, he brought his wife to southern Taiwan. He's now leading the school with his open-minded educational beliefs. The first grade student hugs the principal closely when he sees him. The principal is like a grandfather to the students. They respect him greatly. Students were playing around, but they all gather up when they see the principal. A student even shares her favorite doll with the principal. The principal is very popular with the students, but he has to check between the elementary school and high school campuses every day. These two campuses are about seven hectares in total. I normally walk around the two campuses many times a day, like working out. Today, I didn't walk as much. Zhang Jingkun takes time to practice bell and drum with colleagues during lunch break. He's down to earth with his colleagues, and he often makes jokes for everyone to relax. <laughs> Zhang Jingkun is serious but not harsh. He is now 60 years old and he has been the shining beacon of hope for students having trouble with school during his years teaching in junior and senior high schools. I saw him change from a rebellious young man to a well-respected school instructor. What he has dedicated to this society made me feel much more honored than receiving any awards. Liang Mingyi gives thanks to his mentor for turning his life around. Zhang Jingkun has joined Suji since 20 years ago. 
He not only introduced Da Ai Mother to the campus, he has also brought students to join the campus reconstruction in Nanto after the 921 earthquake. Three years after his retirement, Master Chen Yan invites him to come to Tainan. The master hopes he can come and take charge here, so I told him it's a good chance for you to dedicate your talents. Leaving their home in New Taipei City, his wife Xiao Shenmei moved to Tainan with him. His wife spends all day in school to help out any shortage of human resources. Different from the public schools Zhang Jingkun has served in the past, Tainan Suji Senior High School has brand new challenges for him. The hardest part is not about the school size, it's about the teacher's quality. However, as long as we have a core concept, we can communicate. Although people are hard to manage, it becomes easier. He shows optimism to the school's current condition and takes an open-minded approach to manage the school. He has also found ways to improve the school. Not so many people come into the school, so they don't know how good the school is. So I think I need to open the school and make a connection with the community. Even during holidays, he is busy in promoting his education beliefs as well as Tsuji ideology in the community events. He is not only a school principal, but also a full-time Tsuji volunteer. Parents are often the role model for their children. Thus, it is important parents do not lead children astray with bad behavior. Tsuji Jinsu so Books and Cafe is a good place for children to learn manners and good behavior. Recently, the cafe held a year-end blessing ceremony where through sign language performances, good messages are spread to even more people. Let's join them there. Performing the sign language songs with the children, Huang Kaiyi is passing on the love to the next generation. From being a Tsuching to a mother, she has always remembered to do her part as a Tsuji volunteer. From being a Tsuching to training for my Tsuchen certification and forming my own Tsuji family, it has made me feel that I need to continue to pass on the love by participating in Jingsu Books and Cafe activities. My children can join me in doing Tsuji. This is the year and blessing ceremony for the Jingsu Books and Cafe, where 39 pairs of parents and children perform in the day's event. She's become brave and very willing to be on stage to perform sign language songs. While listening to the Tsuji aunt stories, she has learned how to be respectful of her elderly, help others, and also love Mother Earth. Forming a strong bond with the ITV through the Jingsu Books and Cafe, actor Shi Yinan has come to participate in the event. I'm honored I get the opportunity each year to perform at the Year and Blessing Ceremony for the Jingsa Books and Cafe. It's like coming home and sharing what I've done in the past year. Through this event, I can gain more strength to continue for next year. It's this love that continues to pass on to generations to come. In Malaysia, a graduation Thanksgiving event was held at Mangyi Elementary School for graduating students to express their gratitude to their teachers. The principal has asked our mothers to help plan the gathering so their love and respect are expressed at the event. We'll leave you with these images at the end of our program. Thank you for joining us. Goodbye.